um, we have conventional medicine and we have alternative medicine, right? Yes. And we have alternative practitioners and we have mainstream practitioners. Let me tell you something. The Ayurveda is three and a half thousand years with a chakra system, with the five elements, with aromatherapy, with the herbal, with yoga, with all of this. Chinese medicine, almost the same, about three and a half thousand years. They have meridians, they have five elements, uh, they have acupuncture, they have herbs, they have Tai Chi, Qigong. They have also some kind of uh, tools to help people to keep balance. Mm. When I studied the, uh, both of them, I just realized that the main purpose of, of the practitioner is not to fix your left shoulder or right knee, full bladder or anything like that. The real source of the helping is to restore the balance in the body and let's balance, uh, let's body to heal. At the same talking, if you take uh, writings of, of my teachers, my true teachers, 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 like Hippocrates, Avicenna, Maimonides, mm. these guys lived in different places, in a different times, were writing in a different languages, having different cultures. And when you see their writings, it's like as if they were sitting next to each other and they were discussing um, uh, different problems and they start to get uh, the answers. But their philosophy was the same. Keep the balance in the body, soul, and emotions of the patient. We take it, we bend it, we fix it to the way how we need it today so now my question is, what is alternative? 250 years of uh, current medicine or 3,000 uh, plus years of the alternative medicine? Who, who is the main players here and, and who is alternative? Right, absolutely, so, amen. It's like the word conspiracy or I shouldn't say that. It's like alternative. Think about what we're actually saying. That's the normal, that's the saying. It shouldn't be alternative. No. I can tell you right, right up front. It should be integrative. Everything is needed. Everything was created by God and everything is needed. So if we if if God created pills, something in these pills, positive or negative, but we need it for something. And, and now the uh, in all my life, I didn't believe that I will witness when the medicine will be changed. Mm -hmm. I didn't believe it. Mm -hmm. And we tried it from uh, grassroots movements, right? We tried to push a little bit better, a little bit farther, and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. The government doesn't have any um, intention to change anything. They are very, very comfortable with where they are. Mm -hmm. And, of course, all these entities of pharmaceutical companies and uh, insurance companies and uh, a lot of people around these medical services um, want what we have because it's very profitable. Right. But, at the, but at the same time, just think about uh, um, what's happening right now. Mm. Nothing could touch the structure of a uh, healthcare system. Just innocent virus came in. And this virus puts at stop the whole humanity. Mm -hmm. I didn't see this in my life. I didn't read about this in my life. We have like two countries fighting between each other, but it's somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's not me. It has nothing to do with me. Look at what happened. All countries are involved. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the nature is talking to us. Mm -hmm. Talking to us. Nature is saying that, guys... Just pay attention. Mm -hmm. We live in integral world and we are all interconnected, whether you want it or not. You can live as the pigs 
and trying to steal something from someone else, or you can live in synergy. You can live in the best possible world. Yeah. You can live in a um, dysfunctional family where you have to steal food. You have to understand how to survive on this uh, uh, hostile environment. Or you can be in a loving family mm -hmm. where everybody supports each other. And this is this uh, paradigm shift is all about.